7-Eleven. Now, if you don't know what a 7-Eleven is, let me break it down for you. 7-Eleven is, think of your standard convenience store, you know, gas, chips, candy, you know, all the etc. Gatorade, Pepsi, beer, you know, everything goes. But 7-Eleven has plus. It has peace. You can go in there and get a piece. Let's say you want a long road travels. You're starving. And you want you don't wanna you don't wanna have to get something that's not gonna last you the whole trip. You wanna get something. That's gonna last you the whole trip. So you stop, get you a pizza, you get some wings, they got coffee. Every gas station got coffee, but they call this. More BS. You know what I'm saying? Everything. It got gas. Every gas station wow. got gas. Yeah, but 7 Eleven has to be the top best gas station to go to. I have a 7 Eleven literally right down the road for me. I go to to get gas all the time. It's the only gas station I go to. I don't go to any other gas station because I'll never let myself get in that situation where I need to stop and get gas. For today's video, I have y'all three... Pause. Listen, y'all. It's your boy, Editor Mook in the building, man. Listen, before we get this video started, I just want to get this off real quick. I'm going to start a series on this channel called Spook with Mook. Y'all let me know if that's something y'all like to see on the channel. It's where I just watch horror videos, react to y'all's horror videos. Y'all send me on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter so you can know when I'm about to go record a horror video. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Uh, future move out. Three true, three true 7-Eleven horror stories anime. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel for another. For another banger. For another banger. Now listen. Like I said, we got 7-Eleven horror stories. I can hold y'all up too long. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on post notification when I miss any uploads. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, man. I'm trying to get back active on Twitter. I'll be, I'll, I'll be on there sometimes. I'm trying to get back active on Twitter. But, you know, yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, uh, this video is posted by IMR Scary Tales. Make sure y'all go check them out. Link will be in the description. Let's go check them out. Tell them what real sent you. All right, let's get straight into it. I ain't going to hold y'all up no longer. Story number one. Today was my first day as God a salesperson dang. in a 7-Eleven store located on the highway. On the highway. to the gas station owner who started it on the same premise just a few weeks back. The owner was a friend of my uncle, which is why I got the job. Okay. I am a high school dropout. Damn. So there's no wow. hope for me in high-paying corporate jobs until high I finish school. school dropout. Bro, my first, hey, hold on, pause the video. First thing first, bro. If you watching this video and you ain't graduate high school, bro, finish high school, bro. It's the least you can do, bro. What else could you be doing? You can still get a job and make some money while you work in high school, bro. Finish high school, bro. That's the least you can do is get your high school. That's the least you can do is get your high school diploma, bro. That's the least, bro. That's the least, bro. Just go get high school diploma, bro. Finish, bro. You literally have to just show up and do the work. I done did it, bro, so I ain't no excuse. Finish high school, bro. Quit playing games. ...and busy in their own life, so I am a 17-year-old trying my best to act like a 27 year old 17 when i woke up this morning i, I said to that. myself looking in the mirror you are a piece of shit oh my you god the only one in this world if they can do it so can you oh yeah this right is how i motivate Whoa. myself when i step out of my comfort zones mm -hmm. and today at my first job i felt something exactly like that right. being high and skipping classes were my talents so far but now i had to take charge of my life to survive in this cruel world. Right. With lots of hope got and to. fear, I got dressed and left for my shift. Okay. I took the 6 p.m. to 11 a.m. shift as I had no choice. I never dreamt of being Cinderella. Rather, I would prefer to be that shoe that changed her life forever. 100%. Anyways, back to the story. I like a so I dressed star. up and rode to the 7-Eleven in my rusty old scooter. No matter, the you get in there. The location is too empty as there's no other residence or store in that area. Oh. The owner showed me the store and demonstrated all the work that I need to do. 
like stacking up the soda machine, arranging the shelves properly, and checking on customers so that they don't steal things. Okay, all right. There were security cameras scattered around the store, and a small monitor was placed on the counter right in front of me to watch over like a hawk. Okay, standard the gas job station. Was See? Simple. At least, that's what I thought. Mm. I immediately got to work as the owner sat at the cash counter, noticing my every move. I placed the new stocks on empty shelves, arranged the soda machine, and started mopping the floor. Around 8.30, I finally finished all the given tasks and walked up to the owner to get some tips oh, on how to you deal got with it. Come in, bro. All right, guys, it is I'm time. Skipping. It is I'm time. skipping it's it. Time. I'm it skipping time. it. I'm skipping it. Ninja. So what you got then doing? This is all about you. He told me to be polite but also strict at the same time. Remember, if you see any funny business, tell the customers to leave right away. There's a licensed gun in the drawer. Huh? In case someone tries to steal or do anything threatening, Take it out okay. and scare them away with That's it. That's fair. She got a Don't strap. Worry. Just she in has case. a safety catch, so there won't be any accidents. I have done this many times. Okay. Some okay, people respect. just don't understand good behavior. Respect, respect. Even though each of his words were right, I pray to God that I don't have to bring that gun out under any circumstances. Man, hold on. I just let somebody come up in the gas station on me. How you doing today, sir? Coming to get something to drink? Uh, yeah, man. Let me, let me, just, let me just do a couple, a couple looking around right quick. I see you standing on the camera. Try to pull a gun out on me? I'm blowing your head off. Boom, bam, bam. I'm blowing your head off. I'm blowing your head off. Your head off. Wished for a trouble-free day, but to my luck, God must have been busy the with lights off. chores. Hence, he failed to hear my prayer that night. Around 9 p.m., the owner left for his home, handing me the keys. He said the morning shift person will come at 11 a.m. Till then, I'm in charge here. Wow. I stood near the entrance and watched his car drive away and slowly Dang, fade into the darkness of the highway. Him. I turned around and gazed at the empty 7-Eleven store. Okay, bro, that is kind of scary, bro. I kind of scary, bro. I sat down at the counter and started to watch some funny videos on my phone. Until a customer comes in, this is all I have to do. The next three Easy. hours went without any trouble. See, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I can work the gas station shift, bro. This shift you got right here, it's this certain shift you get at the gas station, bro. It don't mean nobody coming up to the gas station. I can do that. But then again, you by yourself. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no activity, no interaction. You, you there by yourself. Somebody try to rob you, you stuck. What if that 7-Eleven ain't have a gun in the drawer? You beat. I oh, don't know, man. Let me know. Would y'all rather work at a 7-Eleven? For the for the first shift or the third shift, let me know in the comment section. I ain't gonna lie, I probably I'm gonna have to go with that first shift just to go ahead and get it over with so I can drink the rest of my day. Clock struck 12. A groaning sound in my stomach reminded me that the last time I ate was at lunch. Yeah, that's oh, brother starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> which I kept in the freezer at the back of the store. I got up to microwave it. As I placed the sandwich inside the microwave and started the timer. I heard the bell on the entrance ring twice. Oh no. Nah. Thinking a customer must have entered the store, I said in a loud voice, Welcome to 7 Eleven. That's I'm what they always right the lady you. always say to me. Feel free to look I'm around. Like, bro, 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 hold on. Must... I'm sorry I'm pausing so much, bro. But listen, when I go get gas in the morning, it's a certain day. It's always this older black lady in there. You know, she doing her job and whatnot. I'll be coming in to get gas. It'd be like 4 30. I gotta no, it'd be like it'd be like 4 15. I gotta be at work at five. I got a 25 minute drop. Bro. I'll come in there to get gas, but I'll be standing at the register like this. For like five minutes, probably like, bro, can I just get my gas and leave, bro? She be at the she be in the back out there, rearranging coffee cups, got dang, putting more coffee beans in a coffee maker. Bro, she be wilding, bro. I just be like, bro, can you ring me up for some gas, bro? I'll be like, God dang, bro. I gotta go to work. Must have taken a minute or two to get back to the counter. Once I reached near the counter, no pausing, and no, glanced no, pausing at the it. entrance, my heart froze like an iceberg. Huh? Bloody footprints led inside the store from the entrance to the right corner shelves. My brain shut down for a moment and I couldn't speak. I slowly walked to the counter, placed my sandwich on the desk, and took out that gun from the drawer. Immediately! I inserted it in I my pocket pause, and prepared it. myself to use it if the situation Yes, yeah, sir, you ready, you ready. Silently, I tiptoed following the bloody footprints. They went behind the register. The right corner shelves had toiletries like paper towels, toothbrushes, toothpaste, tampons, and of course, toilet paper. As I peeked in to see the intruder who had just entered this 7-Eleven, I got the shock of my life. A woman in her late 30s was standing near the stack of toilet paper. There was blood all over her dress and face as if she bathed in it. 
she was tearing up a roll and using the toilet paper to wipe the blood off. What the? I gasped in fear and our eyes met. I, What's up? I didn't do anything. It's my husband. What? I need your help. Please help me. What? What happened to you? My what husband happened? and I were driving this down the highway. One. We got hit by this truck. He's in the car outside. Please help. I ran outside and saw a blue car sitting on the roadside. Its bonnet was destroyed. Smoke was coming out of it, and the alarm was going off like crazy. The woman came out as well, and together we pulled out the man whose head was badly injured. We dragged him inside the store and laid him down on the floor, supporting his back on the counter. What the? His blood got smeared on my hands, he and the metallic cramped. smell started to choke me. I somehow got my shit together and said, I'll... I'll call the cops. Bro, you wait here. should have that first. No, the cops will put us in prison. See, I don't have a license. Damn. I was just driving for fun while I don't my care, bro. was right next to me. That's what you get. I had no idea things would get out of hand. And when the truck came, those bright lights. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, this is what she okay, get for driving no you license. calm down. There's a washroom at the backside. Please go there. I need to call an ambulance. We have to take your husband to the hospital. Wow. Okay, but please don't call the cops. Gotta do something. We will be in huge trouble. I gotta call wow. the cops, bro. I gotta Let's call the cops. Let's take him to the hospital first. The woman went to the washroom, and I took out my phone to call the paramedics. I would have called the cops. I was sitting beside her injured husband, who was unconscious for all this time. I was one tap away to dial the paramedic, when suddenly, the man grabbed my hand huh? and said, C Call. Call the cops. <gasps> the she woman crazy. Wife. Oh, she is crazy. Please don't trust her. What? What do you mean? She is a psycho woman stalking me for months. Today she forced me to get in the car with her that's the, by threatening me with a. But that's the thing. If he would have said that to me right there, call the cops. She's a psycho woman. I mean, call the cops. I'm not asking why. What are you talking about? This man is this man more hurt than she is. She just got blood everywhere. This nigga got a got a hole in his forehead. Bruh, that's a thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not caught, bro. I'm not asking you why. I'm calling the Things cops. got out of control as I tried to jump out of the car. You got to call the cops. She's dangerous. Call the cops. The sweat appeared on my forehead as I couldn't believe what this man was saying. Call the Suddenly, cops. I heard a familiar voice behind me and oh, turned no. around. Honey, you shouldn't be speaking now. What? This kind woman is going to call the paramedics and we'll be just fine. There's no need to call the cops, right? Right? Oh, nah. Is this true? Whatever she got saying, the She got the blink. Pull the blink out. True? Come on. He's just mad at me. Couples fight. There's nothing weird with that. No, no, she's lying. She's not my wife. Please. Pull the gun out, shoot her in the leg, bro. You good? A huge, oh, sinister smile freak, appeared no. on his face, and she said in a squeaky, creepy voice, "She won't call the cops. She promised me, didn't you?" And took nah. my knife. No, nah, I'm not shooting the, the leg. I'm shooting the head. So sharp that I knew I'm once your head off. Make my entrails I'm blowing him like fruit pole. I decided to manage the situation more sensibly. Look, there's still time. You don't need to do this, okay? Both of you are hurt. So just let me call the cops and paramedics. You need help as fast as possible. You won't call the cops. Saying this, the woman lunged at me with a knife oh. and I took out the gun from my yeah, there you go. in self-defense. I didn't want to shoot her, but as she stabbed me in the shoulder deep, I kicked her in the stomach, making her fall hard on the floor. I pointed the gun at her and said, There's still time. Just stop and let me call the cops. It is escalated. Are you going to shoot me? Stop right there, or I will. You won't shoot me. You're a kind person. Just let me take my man and walk away. This is none of your business, you know. Don't talk like this man is a freaking trophy. You bitch! Oh. She came at me once again, and I removed the safety cap and fired into her. There you go. Thank blood you. Blood splashed like there a There you fountain. go. Lower her kneecap. The sound of a gunshot, a spine-chilling scream took place. But she she collapsed on the floor in pain, and I finally called the cops. 
The you cop came and in took both of them place. to the nearby hospital. The woman was put in jail and charged with abduction and attempted murder. I wasn't charged as I shot in self-defense. I am still working here. A few weeks after the incident, the man came to visit me with flowers and gifts as a token nice. of gratitude for saving his life. Thank While you. leaving, he said to me, Thank you for believing me that day. Our societal norms need a lot of alteration because a man can also be a victim in the hands of a woman. But sometimes, some people find it hard to believe. Hey guys, uh, I see many of you commenting on my videos that this channel deserves 1 million subscribers. They do, they do, they do. I also see the percent of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So, if you like the content, want to support my channel, and want to see this channel reach 1 million subscribers, it's free, it's free, it's maybe 500,000 subscribers, it's free. then go free, ahead, bro. subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Alright, story number two. My name is Ethan Robert. Ethan Robert. I'm 25 years old, and for a huge part of my life, I used to work as a delivery guy. DoorDash, Being Uber a delivery Eats. man taught me a lot of things. But the major yeah, lesson I took away so from the job is that things aren't really what they seem in this world. And unfortunately for me, I had to learn that the hard way. So, but this guy this happened about music. three years ago. Why is everybody driving those time, scooters? All I spent most of my days delivering packages. Nothing really interesting happened on my delivery trips, right. but that all changed on one particular delivery. It was on a Monday, and Ooh. I was trying to deliver a package, but there was a huge influx of traffic. Right. I was already running late, so I decided to use a different route. Wow. I swerved the bike into a deserted back alley, and as I reached the end of the alleyway, I saw the strangest thing. Right there at the end of the street, I saw a 7-Eleven store. The site was odd as it was placed in a very secluded area that was strange as being convenience stores, 7-Elevens, were normally built in places that were open and accessible to everyone. Right. It was as if the store didn't want people to know it was there. Right. After a lot of thinking, I decided to brush it off as I was running yeah, late and I still had a package to deliver. It's none of your business. So I went on with my journey. Keep a week on. passed before I had to use that route again. It was on a Friday and I was on another delivery trip. The weather was hot and there was heavy traffic. I couldn't be late so I decided to use the route again as it was easier. Okay. There After 20 minutes, I was done with the delivery and I was on my way back. I was thirsty, Don't so I decided to pop into the oddly placed 7-Eleven store to get something to drink. As I walked into the store, I froze on the spot as I was greeted with another odd sight. All the people who were in the 7-Eleven store the? were all donning suits. Bro, you know what this look like, bro? It look like the Freemasonry, bro. Bro, hey, bro. It's a secret society going on in that 7-Eleven. That's why it's in the cuttery. Hey, hey, bro. Gowns and expensive know jewelry. The aura all seemed high Maybe prom night. Maybe prom night. One look at them, uh -oh. you'd know that they were all wealthy. This was really peculiar to me, as seeing rich people in a convenience store was Look a sight to behold. Look how you're looking in the back. But even then, that wasn't the strangest thing, as there was something more odd about the scene. What happened, The bro? rich people weren't shopping or talking. They were all just standing and waiting. An eerie silence filled the room as all the classy people watched the clock. I looked up at the clock that they were all staring at, and I saw the time was 7.09 p.m. I began to get anxious as the environment made me feel uneasy. So I decided to get my drink and to leave as soon as possible. After getting the drink I wanted, I made my Water, way to the choice. counter. And before I could reach there, the clock hit 7.11 p.m. 7.11? Before I could blink, what I saw the? numerous hooded figures emerge from the back door of the store. But it's supposed to be real too. Within seconds, they filled the room and with no hesitation, they began to usher everyone into the room they had just come out of. Sacrifice, I began bro. to panic as I slowly backed away, but before I could reach the door, I was sternly held by one of the hooded figures, and the man then proceeded to usher me. I would've got me. Out of fear, I didn't speak. I would've, got I knew the, I would've booked I didn't it. Comply, I'm not, bro, you're not carrying trouble. me out of here, bro. So I decided to stay calm and wait for an opportunity to escape. I was led into another room through the back door, and I walked into what seemed to be the exact replica of the 7-Eleven I was just ushered out of. I was confused for a few minutes as I began to look around, but I stopped dead when I saw what was displayed on the shelves. At first glance, Me? I thought I was looking at life-sized dolls, but it didn't take long before I got the horrific realization 
that those were actual See, human beings. This is crazy because this could actually be real, bro. Neatly dressed children displayed in 120 bands, bro. That's not Each enough for no kids. Had price tags on them. As I saw price ranges from fifty thousand dollars all the way up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. They selling kids, I bro. In as the rich people began to pick out and buy the captive children, is that like they were buying groceries, bro? Y'all can't tell me, bro. Y'all can't tell me, bro. Did not look like Kobe Bryant, bro. You can't the tell me he didn't look like Kobe The faces of the Bryant, children bro. made my heart break as they were they being carried kids, away. Are they kids, bro? I watched as a hesitant child began to scream as she was taken away. Her screams began to fill the room, oh, and I watched laughing. as the rich couple who picked her out said, "Silence it. We'll pick out another." With no hesitation. One of the hooded figures opens the glass cage. Are this real, gun, bro? This can't be real. The child cleaning the head. Watching that child get murdered was my breaking point as I finally lost it and screamed. All eyes immediately turned to my direction. You idiot. As they Why would you do that, bro? That I was meant to be there. Within seconds, I was surrounded by the hooded figures and the one looming over me asked, Who the hell are you? God dang it. I, I was just to get some water. I that if I told them the truth, Bro, you know what's crazy, bro? What's about to happen to bro? Only have because bro is thirsty. He shouldn't have never went to that second level. You see us in the cut, bro. You see us in the cut. It's spooky. No, no go. It's a no go for me because usually, like he said, 7 Elevens are out in the open, you know what I'm saying? In a good area, bro. Bro. My man's finna die because he was thirsty. God. They would immediately kill me the same way they just killed that little girl. Dang. As I Boy, answered head off. silence. I could tell the man was agitated as he punched me in the mouth. I felt my lip tear he as I began that no to taste the blood in my mouth. The hooded figure then said, Tell us who you are, or I assure you that we will make you hear your own bones break. Dang! I said nothing as I was ready to take the beating, then to die. All the hooded figures then proceeded to beat the crap out of me. Dang. As they punched and kicked me, I watched as the rich emotionless people just stood there watching them beat me to death. After 30 minutes, I felt immeasurable oh, pain in my body. Bro, they beat my the face breaks off of him. And I could barely open my left this eye. This real, bro? I then heard one of the hooded figures say, Just kill him already. Oh. I don't think he's anyone important. The hooded man then brought out his gun and pointed it directly at my head. Oh my god. I to beat rapidly as I realized they were just going to kill me, regardless of if I spoke or not. A lot of thoughts began to run through my head as I never thought being a delivery guy would get me into a situation like this. Right Crazy. before the man could shoot me, the, FBI, open up! the door was broken down and I heard someone scream. I knew that was going to happen, bro. FBI. Numerous FBI agents filled the room as gunshots Is this fired. real, bro? I want to look this up and see if this real. The gunshot simmered down and numerous people were in handcuffs. One of the FBI agents this now can't be real, bro. on the floor and he called for the paramedics. As I was being taken care of, the agent began to question me, and I told him everything I knew. The agent then said, Well, Ethan, today's not your lucky day, as you just stumbled upon one of the most messed up trafficking rings that the FBI has been tracking for months. Wow. You really should thank the Lord that you're alive, because these merciless people run a horrific organization who use dubious fronts to undergo child trafficking all around the world, and this 7-Eleven wow. store it's just one of them. Dang. After that, I was questioned a little bit more before I was told to go home as they began to finish rounding up the criminals. Even after three years, the memory is still fresh in my mind. I quit my job after that incident and I went back to school. The ordeal has made me see the world differently as I'm now always wary of my surroundings. So to anyone who's listening to this, my advice to you is to tread carefully as you really never know where you are. Who knows if your local barbershop is a front for a cocaine store? This is why it's always better to proceed with caution so you wouldn't find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wow. See, first thing first. First thing I want to get on my chest. First thing first. Now that I go inside every 7 Eleven I go into, I'm definitely going to get what I need and I'm leaving. Ain't nobody finna tap me on my shoulder and. Nah, bruh, not finna take me to some child trafficking and BB up and kill me. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. You're not finna. Nah, player. You got too much dip on your chip. Yeah, I'm not finna. God, bruh, they was beating the brakes off of him. You see this face? Man, they was ripping, bruh.
All because he was thirsty. And he got some water. Could at least got a Gatorade, Powerade, Powerade, preferably Powerade better than Gatorade. Powerade. I used to work at a newly opened 7-Eleven. Brand new 7-Eleven, I'm gonna look clean too. Not the most glamorous job, but I wasn't picky about where my pocket money came from. Exactly. Since I had my I classes during money. the day, I could only take night shifts at the store. Okay. People who were drunk or high, or both, often came through the automatic doors, looking for something to satisfy the munchies. That's but fine. other than that, it was a pretty quiet and boring job that I could do while playing on my phone more than half the time. 100%. There was one Agreed. thing odd about the place, though. The automatic doors tended to malfunction from time to time. Nah, not the ghost, bro. Not the ghost. There was no one to be seen on the other side. I'd been jolted out of my web browsing more than once by the sound of the ringing door, only to find that the store was still empty. Hey. When I told the manager about it, he called a repairman to fix it. Apparently, the people who worked on the other shifts had reported the doors opening by themselves as well. But when the repairman came, he could find no problems with the door sensors and left without doing anything. My manager was annoyed, but I quickly learned to tune out the sound of the door rings and listened for footsteps instead. The self-opening doors girl. weren't the only problem plaguing the stores, though. One week into me working at the 7-Eleven, food in the store started going bad at an unusually fast rate. Oh, okay. The bag snacks were fine, but everything in the fresh foods section, from the milk to the boxed sandwiches, would go bad the very same day they were put there. Someone even got sick from eating one of the hot dogs and almost sued the store. Thankfully, that happened during the day shift, so I didn't have to deal with it myself. All of it really annoyed my manager, who was convinced that someone must have been tampering with the food without any of us knowing. I don't know how that was possible, but there didn't seem to be any other explanation since the food was all fresh when it arrived. Makes sense. Milk One biscuits. One night during my shift, my manager pulled me aside to talk to me about our spoilage problem. Hey, Erica, are you free after your shift tonight? I'm free. Why do you ask? Had he been anybody else, I would have made some bullshit excuse about needing to do homework. But I had my eye on him for quite some time and was more than willing to go out with him if he was asking. Nah, That's great. Clean Can up. you stay at the store to check the security camera ah, footage? Got him. You'll be paid for overtime. Bozo. Of course. Oh. I thought you was going on a date. I wasn't that lucky. I still took him up on his offer though because, hey, it was easy money. Plus, it'll probably help me get into his good graces. Jeez. I grabbed a bag of potato crisps from one manager? of the owls and a can what? of soda from the fridge before going to check the CCTV room to review a day's worth of camera footage or at least pretend to. I sat back on the creaky swivel chair in front of the computer that was linked to the security camera and started playing footage from the very start of the day at five times the speed. As expected, most of it was pretty boring. People came in, put stuff in a basket, and cashed it out at the counter. What kind of subject no is incident. this? Like there were a few hungover people in the morning who stumbled in to make fools of themselves, so I at least had a good laugh from that. Things only started getting weird at around noon. Hmm? I almost didn't see the shadowy figure enter the room at first because of how fast the footage was playing. If it wasn't for the sound of the automatic doors ringing, Ghost, I wouldn't bro. have caught it so early on. Ghost, bro. I paused the footage, turned it back to normal speed, and rewound it to when I heard the doors ringing to see if my eyes were playing tricks on me. Bring me no a tall and dark room, shape bro. shambled into the store. Don't play those games. The automatic doors opened. The Grim Reaper is that the Grim Reaper? Bro, what it the? And the bone bro, this can't the be real. Starved to death. I hope there's not real, bro. What the? That ended in sharpened nails. The thing was soon followed by another creature just like it. Then another and another until at least half a dozen of them had filled the empty store. Bro, what? Pitch black auras emanated from them like fumes of. But how did that happen? And you clearly seen only one come in, leaving behind traces of its darkness. The guy working the day shift cashier either didn't notice or didn't care when whatever it was entered the store. But when other people started entering the store, none of them seemed to notice the creatures either. The ghosts. Not even when they were right in front of them. The ghosts. Whenever one of the creatures got near someone in the middle of shopping. It would bend down to the person's height and whisper in their ear. The people didn't seem to hear what it said, but I heard its words whisper loud and clear thanks to the camera microphones. Can you see me? The ghost whispered the phrase over and over again into the ears of the unwitting shoppers and even the clueless cashier working the counter at times. 
nobody ever paid them any mind. I sped up the footage once more and saw dozens, if not hundreds, of the shadow creatures foul in and out of the store Bro, this over the course can't of the be real. I'm looking behind me, bro, because there's going to be one of them niggas behind me. On all their gray lips. Can you see me? No, I can can't see you. you. See me? No, I can't see you. Can you see me? God dang, bro, I can't I see you, bro. I should have run out of the store right then and there. But a sixth sense of curiosity kept me glued to my seat. I reasoned that if they haven't heard anyone in the store during the day, just watching a recording of them would be harmless. I watched the footage showing me during my shift, watching over a store full of the shadow creatures without even realizing it. I watched me talking with my manager about staying overtime to watch the security camera. Oh, he there right and now. I watched as I entered the CCTV room. Cow, she ain't got a chicken soda in her hand. That oh. bent under the door frame to enter it after me. The blood in my veins oh, ran ice cold. That nigga behind and I heard her. A single phrase be whispered directly into my left ear. Can you Can see you me? See me? What can you do in that situation, bro? Like, what can you like? Like, what can you really do in that situation? You can't do nothing, bro. You literally can't do nothing, bro. You stuck. You stuck, Chuck. You can't do nothing. You stuck, bro. Like, you you can't do nothing. He, like, he behind you. He, he just walked in there. Can you see me? Like, no, bro. Get out my goddamn ear, bro. I, I would have said, I can't see you, bro. I can't see you, bro. I can't see you. I can hear you, but I can't see you, bro. Now, watch out, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to make this money. You gonna pay my life bill? No, you're not. Okay, get out of my face. Anyways, man, listen. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. If y'all did, do me a favor and drop a like on this video right here. If you want to see me react to any more horror films, horror videos, horror shorts, follow me on Twitter. Send me, DM me some, you know what I'm saying, horror videos I should watch. Uh, this video gonna be a little bit long. It might not be that long, but yeah, um, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, as always, it's your boy Luma Real, and I love each and every one of y'all mouth. Peace. Can you see me? No, nigga, I can't see you.